I'm a professor at the University of Waterloo in the School of Optometry and Vision Science. I'm also appointed as professor in the uh, Department of Ophthalmology and Vision Sciences at U of T and I'm a, a senior scientist at the Cranville Research Institute in Toronto as well. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease when I was 41, so I'm in my 14th year now with Parkinson's disease. I think most people imagine the worst in terms of when you mention Parkinson's, so that's an elderly person who's hunched over, has severe problems even walking, uh, will freeze in, in certain situations. What's interesting is that to many, including myself, um, the, the non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's, such as depression, um, sleep loss, are, are a greater problem than, than the motor symptoms. Sometimes I, I, I will just say, you know, if you see me, if you're wondering in terms of my um, behaviour at times, you know, I might be tense and, and uh, my tremor is very visible. Um, I will just say I have Parkinson's disease. Just get it out in the open. I think at times it puts other people, it gives them more discomfort than it gives me discomfort. <laughs> Um, t and, and I think if you get it out in the open and be frank with people, it, it, it works better that way. I'm also involved in research through Andre th with into Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, vascular cognitive impairments, a whole spectrum of, of uh, neurodegenerative diseases. It, it helps me to deal with the, the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, to be able to feel that in one way or another I'm actually contributing to the research effort.